Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're talking about how you can get 5G service on dual SIM for your iPhone 12 today. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So a few weeks ago, I did a video on my iPhone 12 Pro Max showing how you can go ahead and set up dual SIM or two lines on one phone. Now, the drawback on that is of course, as I mentioned in that video, which by the way, if you haven't checked it out, I'll go ahead and card it here as well as put a link in the description below. You guys can go check that out after you watch this video. But one of the drawbacks is uh, that you don't have 5G service on your iPhone if you have two SIMs or two lines set up on one device. That's going to change soon with iOS 14.5 update coming out probably by the end of this month, maybe beginning of next month. But as of right now, with iOS 14.4, you can have dual SIM set up, you just won't have 5G, you'll have 4G LTE on both of your lines. So with a beta version currently available, I'm gonna show you guys how you can download the beta version today. That way you don't have to wait for the full release to come out, probably like I said, next month. Of course, which when it does come out, you can go and upgrade, but if you want 5G service now, let me go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and hop on the computer and let me show you how to do it. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna go on to beta.apple.com, which is gonna bring you to this screen here. And once you're in this screen, you can go ahead and sign in with your Apple ID that you're signed into onto your iPhone device. You wanna make sure you're using the same Apple ID. If you don't currently have one, you can go ahead and sign in and create one. Uh, or sign up, I mean, if you can create one, but if you already have a member ID, you can go ahead and sign in. And it's gonna go ahead and take you to a sign-in page. Uh, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my ID, my password, Now that I've logged in with using my username and password, this is the screen that it brings you to, which is a guide for public betas. Now, uh, again, this is a pre-release, so this is before the actual version comes out. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and select iOS device, which is gonna show you iOS 14, and it's gonna go ahead and give you instructions on how to first enroll your device, which is a link right here. So if you click on, please enroll your um, iOS device, go ahead and click on that. And it's gonna go ahead and tell you to make sure you do a active backup. Uh, if you have your iPhone backed up to the cloud, you're fine, but I personally would recommend doing a, a hard backup as well onto your computer. So you can go ahead and follow the instructions to get that done. And then once you have everything backed up, what you wanna do is you wanna click on, um, go to beta.apple.com profile and download a configurational profile. So what I did was instead of actually installing it from the computer, what I did was I took that website, beta.apple.com slash profile after enrolling my device. Um, I typed it into my Safari browser on my iPhone and uh, it's gonna go ahead and bring you to the screen where it's gonna ask you to basically go ahead and download the profile. So you go ahead and click on download profile, it's gonna go ahead and download it. And once that download is complete, you're gonna go back into your settings and click on where it says profile downloaded. And once you click on that, it's gonna go ahead and show you the iOS 14 and, I, and iPad OS 14 beta software install. So you wanna go ahead and click on install on the top right hand corner. It's gonna go ahead and install it and then restart your iPhone and you'll be good to go. Now, full disclosure, if you're gonna run the beta, the beta is gonna have bugs. That's the whole point of having the beta version. It's basically an opportunity for you to provide feedback on any glitches you might come across while you're running the beta version. The advantage is, of course, you get to see all the features before the full release comes out. So if this is your main device, I would not recommend you download the beta version now because if you don't want glitches, you don't want some of the applications not working, um, you might not be happy downloading the beta. So just wait for the full release to come out. But if that doesn't bother you and you wanna take the risk and have the benefits of having the pre-release software on your phone, then go ahead and download it. Now, I personally have not done it because I only have one phone, but from a friend and a source that I have talked to, uh, they have said that the banking apps do not work on the 14.5 beta version. So if you do any type of banking through Chase, Bank of America, any of those bigger banks, 
their apps do not work on the beta version, at least from, again, my source and my friends. So if that's a big thing for you, don't download it. Just wait till the full release comes out. But again, if you are okay with some of the glitches you might come across, provide that feedback to Apple so they can go ahead and work on it before the full release comes out and take advantage of the software now. Go ahead and follow these steps, download the beta, and then what you'll see is you'll see the screen where it'll show you 5G is now connected to both of your lines and you'll be good to go. So hopefully you guys found this to be helpful. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.